Okay, good afternoon. We will start with Aidan. No, we'll know by the end of the weekend. So he's got some pain. So uh, won't be involved tomorrow, and we'll see by Monday. Are you confident you've got enough around him in that area of the pitch to those guys to step up? Maybe Giroud back to one. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's, uh, it's a squad game over the course of a season. Lads have been training well. Everybody, no matter how many minutes they're getting, that's what we're trying to bring in here. Every day is a is a work day, so uh, when opportunities come, they're ready. So I've got all confidence in them. I get it out of the way early. Can I ask your reaction to the sacking of uh, Unai Emery at Arsenal, please? Was it kind of inevitable given the form they're in? I wouldn't say inevitable because um, nothing's inevitable. I have a way in football. We know that we're not. We're used to a few surprises, particularly in the last few weeks. And um, you know, it's not nice. I know the job. You know, I work. We work hard here. Everyone wants to be successful. Everyone has a work ethic and uh, an idea. And it doesn't always go the way you want it or not. And um, clubs make decisions. We're all in that category. So it's um, yeah, it's it's a shame because I from the outside looks like a man that gave everything in the role, and uh, and he moves on. Max Allegri has been strongly linked with the job. Is he someone you know anything about? Would he be a welcome addition to the Premier League? I don't, I, I, a... Yeah, I don't I don't know uh, much about. I've never never met him. Can I ask you about West Ham in that case? Um, would it be any different facing them as a manager compared to what it was like as a player? You said you had problems over the last sort of 18 years with them in terms of your relationship with them over the last since 2001. Um, that, that's not my. <laughs> I would just do my job. You know, that I think fans will be fans. Uh, we know where everyone's loyalty lies. We know how passionate fans are in England for their clubs, and it's a London derby, so I expect it to be uh, passionate on both sides. And I will just do my job personally. Are you surprised at how much they've struggled this season? I mean, certainly the second half of last season, they looked as if they were going in the right direction, albeit having spent quite a bit of money. Again, similarly, I think with the Premier League, it's very difficult to make judgments at the start of the season, expectations, what are the expectations for each club. Practically every game in the Premier League is difficult. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm surprised either way. It's just a tough league. Uh, they've got good players and uh, all I do is focus on the teams when they come in front of us. Now we have West Ham in front of us who have uh, good individuals, a good team, a good manager and we have to be very aware of their threat no matter what their recent form is. Add into that, it's a London derby. kind of takes form out of the window. I played in games like this where teams turn up in not great form and uh, slightly transformed by the nature of the game so we have to be very aware. On their manager, you know him very well, Manuel Pellegrini. What sort of guy is he? Is he the type of guy who can maybe lift West Ham out of this situation, do you think, long term? He's a good manager. I worked under him. He's a good man, a good manager. I've got huge respect for him. Um, and, you know, he's working hard, as I say, all the managers in the Premier League. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he'll be working to turn it around for them, of course. Does it bring home how ruthless management could be? I mean, he's somebody you respect and you work for. You just said that, but convincing win by yourselves could push him a step closer to losing your job in reality. Again, yeah, we, we all know the uh, the ruthless nature of, of the of the game now. Uh, every team, every group of fans, every owner, everybody wants their team to be successful at all times and to push and to push. Uh, and it doesn't always work that way. So we're all in that position. So, yeah, individually, I'm, 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 I understood the, the ruthless nature of the job as a player. I understood it when I thought about being a manager. I probably understand it even more now I am. Just finally, for me, on the whole keeper, he's had a lot of stick recently, he's under a lot of pressure, his confidence is low. Is somebody, would it be natural for you to, to target that? No, I wouldn't look at any individual necessarily. I think when we have our meetings and we watch the, the games, then that's our business, how we prepare for a game to try and win whoever we play against. So it's not, not for me to comment on anyone's particular form. Frank, John? Is it a good time to play West Ham as we talked about? The manager's under pressure, I think they've picked up one point from 18 and as you touched on there, the goalkeeper looks a little bit shaky. As I said, I've played in these games where um, London derbies uh, against teams that are in pretty poor form and uh, their crowd come and from the feeling that they might have been having in recent games, it's actually transformed because they're in a London derby where they travel and the atmosphere changes and that can affect the game. So I don't think it's a good or bad time to play. We have to be aware of their threats on the pitch. I think we touched on it after the game of Valencia, but are you a little concerned about your side defensively at the moment? No, I'm actually not, and um, the reason being, I didn't like the last 20 minutes against Valencia, but I think that can happen, and if you're trying to play in a certain way like we are, and you're trying to, to be, um, aggressive isn't the word, but you're trying to play in a certain way, there will be games where you get tested, it happened a lot, I've seen a lot of big teams uh, in the Champions League concede goals this season, not just ourselves, 
when I look at our league form, I know where we're at in terms of statistically we've conceded more goals than we want. But in terms of what we're conceding, in terms of crosses into our box and teams getting into our box, it's not that bad. We, we, we're, our conversion rate isn't good. So these are things I'm fully aware of. But I'll be concerned about us as long as we're conceding goals. And in the Premier League and in the Champions League, you're going to concede goals. We're playing against quality opposition. There's always a need for improvement. And we always analyse, we always speak with the players and work with the players. Um, but what's important is uh, points on the board, um, and that continued uh, want for improvement. And at the moment, we're OK, but we want more. It's been great to watch in the Champions League, the 4-4, four, four, the, the game in the week was a fantastic game as well. How much have you learned as a manager from this Champions League experience, about you and about your team? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't isolate the Champions League. I think you learn every game. You learn um, in every day in training sessions. You learn in the Premier League for sure. So um, there are different tests everywhere you go. So I think we're con continually learning. I certainly am this year. Yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, the nature of playing um, in you know these competitions, being in the Champions League, um, playing competitively where you're just striving every game that you play, no matter what the competition. So that's why you need a big competitive squad and uh, I'm sure it'll be used over the next five games. No Tony Abraham coming up. Um, so is this a chance for Mitchie Batshuayi? Will you start him tomorrow? We'll see. <laughs> From what you, the way you've played it so far, he does seem to be ahead of Giroud, is that fair? We'll see. I'm not going to give him a team on the Friday, am I? Last one, John. <laughs> I just want Rudiger, the week you touched about Rudiger. Mm. He's training, isn't he? He's, he's getting closer. Really yeah, he's getting closer. A really good week's work, but we're, you know the the realization, the, the reality is that he's he's not played for a very long time, so it's a mini pre-season now. The injury seems to be, you know, um, uh, hopefully finished and over. So now we need to get him properly fit, and he's working very, very hard. We're making sure of that. So, yeah, as I said the other day, I think it's sort of days and weeks rather than months, which is great news for us. Liam. A work ethic, a quality, which I know anyway, but a quality and a work ethic because it's not easy when uh, you're not playing so many minutes as you want. Every one of my players wants to play every minute of every game and uh, obviously with Tammy's form, um, that's meant that he's played a lot of the minutes, but that can obviously change. Look at now, where Tammy has his, his injury, so um, I've seen a great work ethic and, uh, and a persistence in how he works and uh, consistency in it and uh, and his quality, which you've seen in when he's come off the bench as well at times. So. Um, that's been that's been great to see because we need competition in that place. Okay, we're gonna do two more and then we've got to finish, Nazar. Frank, I just wanted to go back to the defensive thing. Are you still searching for balance between attack and defence or are you broadly happy with sort of how the balance of the team's looking at the moment? I'm I'm pretty happy with how the team's playing and uh, how they play since the start of the season. I said it the other night, there's been a lot of games this season where afterwards I can actually say I'm, I'm really happy with how we performed. I'm happy with the work ethic of the team and how the lads have applied what we're trying to do, what they can do on the pitch. So I think the balance of a defence and attack is, is fluid. It's every game, it's constant, that it can be different. I think at Manchester City, I thought we were very good in terms of how we were uh, generally in the game. Uh, as I say, Valencia, you can get tested in, in a different game, in a different period of a game where it makes you learn some small lessons in that period, but that's, that's normal. So just ask you about Kepper as well, he came in for a bit of criticism, I know he said the goal wasn't his fault. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of people agree with that. But are you happy with his performances more broadly and, and what have you sort of made of him uh, this season? Yeah, I'm happy. I think that, Again, it's like everybody. We're always trying to improve. I know that Kepper is a professional. He's a, he's a keeper that strives. You can see it in his attitude, how he trains every day. He's a keeper that's striving to be better, as he should do at his age and status that he's at. Chelsea's number one, big price tag. Uh, Spain's you know, number one, sort of at the moment, competing with a, with a great goalkeeper as well. So um, he'll want to get better all the time. And there have been a few instances this season where he'll be the first one to say he can do better. That's football at the top level. Um, but I'm happy with him and happy with his work ethic. OK, last question, Joe. Um, just a bit more on West Ham. How bittersweet is it for you to play them at a time like this when they're struggling? Um, and you mentioned, obviously, the unpredictability factors. Obviously, you know, you're coming off a big game this week. Um, what are you expecting them to bring? Um, I wouldn't say it's bittersweet in any way. It's just a, it's just a game for me, a game for us to, to try and win against a very difficult opponent. The London derby adds a, a spice to it, um, which I know which the players have to be aware of because that can change the temperature of the game. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not concerned about the emotions of it from my point of view. You know, I came through there in the academy a long, long time ago, been at Chelsea a long time as a player and now managing. So my focus is completely on us. Um, what what I expect them to bring. Um, passion, effort, 
they're in a difficult place because of their recent run. Sometimes that can bring out the best in, in people and players. And you look at people like Mark Noble and their team, Declan Rice, <coughs> players and, and experience when they're only young player, players that care for the club. And they want to react if a manager that's the top manager. So I expect a reaction from them. And we know they have individual quality in forward areas. So I'm taking this game nowhere near lightly. We know it's a tough match. OK, cameras off, please.